So we've uh, we've established that we have a new uh, node that we've created, the is Drupal rad node. Um, so aside from nodes, another piece that helps us make what we're making, and if I click through here, I get a, a screen that just has that node on it, but it also has these things on the side in the sidebar. It actually has some stuff up here as well. Um, as I go over that, you'll see a little box shows up and it says configure block. What does that mean? Each of these things is actually a block. This isn't, this is a, a node, but these things are decorating the side and down here at the bottom, these are each no, uh, are each blocks rather. And so we can configure those blocks. Um, let's say for example, um, we uh, wanted this one uh, to show up that's join our mailing list. We wanted it instead to show up on sidebar B. I'm gonna save that. And then you'll see that it's stepped over here to sidebar B. Um, so we can move things from here to here. We can also move them pretty much anywhere else on the screen. Maybe I just don't care about a mailing list. In that case, I can actually configure the block and have it show up none. That is not show up in any of the regions of the screen. Um, so I'll save that real quick. So now it's disappeared. What about this one? Let's take another look here and say, well, let's go real quickly to um, structure and then we'll look at all the blocks that show up on the site. Blocks are generally created by um, a module, um, but you can also create your own blocks um, and add them somewhere in the region. Um, and then there's a set of regions, sort of pre-header first, which is up above the header, or here's the user menu, which is the, the second area right above the header. Let's say we wanted, for example, for our, um, let's see, our user login to show up at the very top. Uh, let's do search instead. The search form to show up at the very top. We could do pre-header first and that'll show up at the very top of the site. We could also, con whoops, where is that? Um, not recent blog post. We've moved it up here, so it's up here. Search form. We can also configure the search form so that it only shows up in some places. For example, we could have it um, show up only on um, the front page by doing only, or we could, right now it's on all pages, but we could have it show up uh, on all pages except for the front page, for example. Um, we could have it only show up on certain kinds of nodes. So maybe when we click through to the poll, we don't want search to show up, or we do want search to show up. So we can decide what the the um, the content type is for a particular node, and that will help determine whether the block shows up there. We can say that it only shows up for certain kinds of users, and we'll talk more about users later on, but maybe we only want things to show up when people are logged in and authenticated, or maybe we only want them to show up for anonymous users. If we don't click any of these, it just kind of assumes that it's visible for everybody. And finally, um, you can make it so that for Drupal, users are able to control what blocks show up on their pages. In other words, they can customize the layout of a page, the layout and, and, and what's showing up on their pages. Um, but you can set it as the administrator so that it's not customizable, so that it's customizable but it's visible by default, or that it's hidden by default but users can add them in if they want. So for example, if I don't want to see what the most recent comments on a site are, I might want to make it possible for a user to just kind of get rid of that block so that it doesn't show up for them. So I'm going to save this. Remember that I've, um, uh, oops, no, I didn't. I went into configure first. The saving gets to be a pain. But the search form, we want to be in pre-header first. And then if we hit save, then um, actually I'll add in, you'll see down here there's a whole bunch of blocks that are built in that that aren't showing up on the front page. Let's go ahead and add in, uh, um, also in preheader first, um, we'll add in um, preheader first. Oops, I did two there, I didn't mean to. We've added in who's new, which I don't need, I'll, I'll get rid of that. But we've added in who's online, and of course I'm going to be the only one online, but I'll save this. So now I've added two things up there to the top. Um, if I close this out, you can see that I've, oops, and I need to refresh. No, it'll refresh it. There's currently one user online, and that's me. And then there's the search bar. We've put these all up ahead of, above the header. That's not a very nice layout, but as you can see, it's much easier than doing it in HTML.